Okay, I'm going to rework this one because I messed up the sign and that's going to mess y'all up when you're trying to put it in WebAssign. So this is the information they given, they've given us that cosecant of x is 3 and that x is between 90 and 180. So our angle is in quadrant 2, but our half angle is going to be between 45 and 90. So that's in quadrant one. And that's going to be important when we're looking for our signs in our um, formulas. But this is going to be important in finding cosine of x. And that's what I need to make sure you understand. All right, so we know that the cosecant of x is 3 over 1. So when I'm trying to find my ratios, my opposite, my hypotenuse, and my adjacent, when I set this up, I know that the cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So this is going to be 1 squared plus x squared equals 3 squared. So x squared in this case is going to be 8. So x is going to equal the square root of 8. All right, so we know how to do that. But when I find the cosine of x, the cosine of x is going to be my square root of 8 over my hypotenuse. But remember that it's in quadrant two, and that's what we need to make sure we understand. So this is going to be negative. All right, now when I plug this in to my half angle formulas, I've got the sine of x over two equals the square root. And this is where I was talking about the half angle is important because that determines our sine. So it's going to be positive, but I've got one and then I've got um, minus, well that's negative, so that's going to be negative square root of 8 over 3 all over 2, which is going to be 1 plus the square root of 8 over 3 over 2. Alright, and that's going to change our sign for cosine of x over 2 as well, because this is going to be 1 plus but once again, the cosine of x is negative, so that's going to be negative square root of 8 over 3 over 2. So that means this is going to be 1 minus the square root of 8 over 3 over 2. And then, like I said, in WebAssign, you can just leave them like that. And then our tangent, um, and this does scroll up, so that our tangent of x over 2 equals my sine of x over 2 over the cosine of x over 2.